Hi, this is John Wood from Ultimatech. Today we're going to have a look at creating our own report header from scratch. Before we do that, we're just going to have a quick look at the existing uh, report template, the text owner report that comes with PC Demos. I've got it open here, but in the report template editor, see we've got this text report object. And if we click on the rule tree, go down to the file header. So for the reports that come with PC Demos, the file header is uh, created, if you like, by, uh, by means of a label template. So for the file header part of the program, it's going to display this label. But we're going to do it slightly differently. We're going to create our report header straight, um, straight on the report template itself. So if we go File, Reporting, New, Report Template. So we've got a blank canvas here. First things first, we'll put a logo on there. If I go to the image control up here, drag a little rectangle, click load, now I can find my uh, my company logo. Right, let's switch that JPEGs down there. Automatic report logo. So if I open that up, uh, at this point it's probably wise to untick link. Um, that will just have to embed the image within the report so you can share it among uh, different CMMs. Okay, the image quality doesn't look great there, but if I right click on that and go to the properties, go to layout, I can do a size to fit, and the image is displayed at its normal resolution. So, position that where I want. Next, I'm going to create a a grid control object here to keep all our report header information. So, again, just select the grid control object, drag the rectangle, and we're going to have four columns and four rows. The image process processing is a bit off here, but if I just pick up the grab handle and resize it slightly, it'll adjust a bit. Okay, next we're going to format this grid control object. It's a little bit fiddly, um, but if we click on it once and then double click to get the 3D border, we can now highlight the cells and format as we want. So if I take the whole lot and give it a thick outside border, thin inside border, and I'm going to change the font. To home it. Okay, apply that. Okay, on that. Uh, let's make the font in these cells bold. And I'm going to get rid of that left hand border. And I'm going to do the same on this side. These ones will be bold. left hand border. Okay, so I'm going to have uh, two columns per side. Um, we've just got no, no vertical line between them. Okay, so now let's put in our field headers. Let's start over here. The part number. Part issue, a part description, we'll have the CMM being checked on. Over this side, we'll have some traceability information such as a serial number. Let's have an order number. The operator. And the date and time. Okay. So that's going to be our overall layout. So we'll save this quickly.
put in the reporting directory of all the other reporting components. We'll call it auto report. Save that. Now I'm just going to flip back to the report window and load it in there. Uh, as I work on these, I like to refresh it and see see the changes as I, as I go. So if I come up to the template selection dialog here, add, then I can find my report, open it up. Okay. Uh, at this point, I'm going to also just save it to the uh, to the toolbar. So add template to toolbar, and this just gives us a new icon on there, so we can quickly um, quickly reload the report. Okay. In part two of this tutorial, we're going to look at populating the information on the uh, for the the values for these field headers, and some of it's going to come from our program. Some of it's going to be entered uh, per execution, such as a serial number and the operator, uh, and some of it's going to be read in from a PCDMS assignment or variable. And that will all be in part two. Thank you.